I lied to you and I'm sorry. Several months ago, I told you that I was done doing laser engraver reviews. And then we create reached out to me and wanted to give me a sneak peek of their new 45 watt laser. And let me tell you, if you are interested in getting into laser engraving or laser cutting, but you're not an expert in the science behind it, then this is a good model to check out. And I really hate saying that because it sounds like I'm some sort of pitch man and that's not what I want to be at all. But I'll tell you, I'm genuinely excited about using this laser in my woodworking business. So with that, let's take a look at some of the cool features that they have built into this. We're gonna take a look at the software if you don't wanna buy Lightburn, and we're gonna do a stress test to see if it can really cut what it says that it can cut. Okay, now we create says that this particular machine will cut up to 22 millimeters of softwood. So I'm gonna give it a shot with some pine and then up to 18 millimeters of hardwood. I don't have anything that's exactly 18 millimeters thick, but I do have a good piece of walnut that's about 14 millimeters thick, and we're going to give that a shot. Okay, but before we get into actually testing it out, let's talk about some of the specs. Now, this is an upgrade of their 40-watt laser, so this is a 45-watt laser, and it is a diode laser. And now, it does have an uh, infrared attachment that can be swapped out. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But the diode laser is really good for anything other than engraving metal and uh, plastic. Although you can do some plastic on these types of machines, you just have to do it with a different process. Now, one of their selling points is what they call beam focus technology. Now, what that really means is that this particular machine has a 0 0.08 millimeter spot size, which I'm no laser engineer, so I don't understand fully what that means, but a more precise uh, spot size is going to give you better results in terms of engraving, and then it's also going to allow it to be more powerful with a lower wattage laser, as I understand it. Next, it's got a laser bed of 22.83 inches by 15.75 inches and a work area of 19.7 uh, inches wide by 12.6 inches deep. Now, they also brag that it's got a 600 millimeter per second um, maximum speed. So that's actually pretty good. Now, they've even got some pretty cool upgrades that some of them I don't have, but they're worth mentioning. Number one, as most lasers have these days, it does come with a rotary attachment which is great if you want to be able to engrave mugs or tumblers or anything like that. As I previously mentioned, it does have a two uh, watt infrared laser. So if you want to engrave on metal or plastic, you can get that add on. And they've even got something that I'd never heard of before, a pass through extension kit, where basically you can take long pieces of material and pass it under the machine and actually cut that way. I know absolutely nothing about that. So I mentioned it but I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, next, let's talk about some of my favorite features with this machine, and I'm gonna put it right out there. I'm not a pitch man, as I've mentioned before, so I hate just going on record and being excited about a piece of equipment, but I really, really like this laser engraver, and here's why. And keep in mind that I am a woodworker and a CNC woodworker that uses a laser engraver and a laser cutter occasionally in my workshop. And if you're interested in getting into laser engraving and laser cutting as a business or a side hustle, then you could do a lot worse than checking out this particular machine because it's got a lot of features built in specifically for inexperienced or people who aren't experts with laser engravers. So what are my favorite features with this particular machine? Number one, it's enclosed. Most of the other diode lasers that uh, I've used are open, and so you have to get a separate enclosure. And most of those low-end enclosures are made out of PVC pipe and plastic. And guess what? My cat likes to use it as a hammock, so they don't last very long around here. Along with the enclosure, it does have a built-in fan. And as you'll see when we run our test cut, that the fan actually keeps on blowing for about 30 seconds after the uh, process is done so that it gets all the smoke, or at least most of it, out of the system before you open it up. And that's a really cool feature that I'd never even thought of. Number two, it does have a blue light filtering lid, so you can look down on it and you can see exactly what's going on. Now, it's got a built-in camera, and that for me is huge. And here's why, because with typical diode lasers, the open-end ones, it does have a 
framing tool, which will frame it up and make sure that you're going to be cutting or engraving in the correct location. But sometimes those can be a little imperfect. They can be a little bit off. What I love about the camera is that you can see exactly where your engraving is going to go on your workpiece. So if you're engraving something like coasters or dog tags or something like that, you know exactly where it's going to go and you don't have to worry about things being off center slightly. Along with that, it has an autofocus. Now the autofocus is great because all you have to do is hit that autofocus button. And while it's autofocusing, it actually uh, detects the actual thickness of the material that you're using. And next and finally, the software by itself, in my opinion, is probably worth the cost of buying it. But we'll take a little bit of a deeper dive and look at the software in just a couple of minutes. Right now, we're going to stress test this bad boy with a couple of different pieces of wood. Now, we create brags that it'll cut through 18 millimeters of hardwood. I don't have 18 millimeters. We're just going to have to make do with 13 and a half, uh, as well as 22 millimeters of softwood. So we're going to try both of those out. So let's start off with our 22 millimeters of pine. I'm just going to try to cut off the end of it right there and see how it does. Now, I have sped this up considerably. Just be aware of that. Also notice that when it's done, it raises, gets out of the way. And even though I've sped it up, you can see that the fan keeps going to pull the smoke out of there. So once you do open up the top, there's no smoke. And a stupid autofocus is uh, not focusing on the right thing. But as you can see, it cuts straight through. Now, let's switch over to our 13.6 millimeters of walnut. And I'm doing the exact same thing here. I have sped this up considerably. Let's see how it does. I'm just trying to cut out a circle from this piece. Once again, you see that it is pulling out all the extra smoke before it turns off the fan automatically. And what do you know? Cut that straight through in one pass. There's a little bit of burn on the bottom, but I literally just hit go with no micro adjusting or anything like that. So I'm very happy with those results. All right, now let's take just a minute or so and look at the software because I believe that the software is one of the best features of this WeCreate system. Uh, if you have Lightburn, I'm sure you can use Lightburn. If you have Laser Gerbil, I'm sure you can use that. But the, the WeCreate software that actually comes with it is incredibly intuitive, which makes it very easy for somebody who's just getting into laser engraving to be able to use a machine like this and get great results. So let's take a quick little look. So to begin with, I have a 12 by 12 piece of basswood on my surface. This is what my camera is actually seeing. And you can design whatever you like. And again, this is where I mentioned before that having the ability to see your material is awesome because you can place whatever you're cutting or engraving directly on top of it and make sure that it's dead centered and you don't have to worry about some of those results where things are slightly off. So the software is pretty straightforward like that, pretty intuitive. Uh, once you have gotten whatever your design would be or whatever your cut is, come over here to material. There are already a whole bunch of materials that are loaded into uh, this software. Um, so you specify whatever you need, confirm it, select materials. Oh, I forgot to select the thickness there. And you're good to go. It automatically knows what settings to load for that. Um, and so that's a really cool feature there. Now, let's look at one more thing right here. Um, and that is this discover section. What I really love about this software is that you've got all of these projects already loaded in here. Uh, you've got trivets, you've got tumbler designs, you've got things that you can cut out and assemble. Uh, if we go to all designs, let's go to featured. And there's a great wave right there. Okay, fine. That looks like it's probably several pieces. As you can see right here, this is actually several pieces, but they're all right there ready for you to cut out. And then all you have to do is assemble it on your own. I'm not going to go through that process, but you can really see how easy that is. So there you go. That is, in a nutshell, my impression of this uh, WeCreate 45 Watt. 
Now, depending on when you're watching this, uh, this is actually not even on sale as of the time of the uh, recording, but they do have an early bird special going on. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, you can get it with a great uh, sales discount. Now, once that early bird is expired, uh, there will be a discount code down in the description so that you can uh, still get a $100 discount if you're interested in it. So with that, thanks for sticking around till the end. Now check out this video right over here, which is full of different types of projects that you can create with your own laser engraver or laser cutter.